We're Jonathan and Jennifer, and you're watching Well-Traveled Life. On this video, we're in San Diego, California, and we're exploring one of the best Airbnbs we've stayed at. We're up in the hills, just a little bit east of Mission Valley, in a part of town called Normal Heights. I think you'll enjoy it as much as we have. Welcome to A Well-Traveled Life. We are in Normal Heights, San Diego in a beautiful neighborhood with a lovely Airbnb. As you enter the gates, you come in through a courtyard with the lovely sound of water and a fountain. This is the main house where the owners live. Your hosts are fabulous. They give you lots and lots of privacy. And the most impressive part is this incredible view down the canyons down to I-15, 805, and the 8 freeway. So you actually get quite a bit of freeway noise, so be prepared for that. But the views are uncompromised. So as we walk in, and this is actually a drive-in, there's parking spaces here, and you can drive in through the gate. It has an automatic clicker, so it's really easy to open and close. And you come into a carport area with your own reserved parking area, so you aren't in the way. Your car is off street in a private locked gated area. It's very, very safe. As you come in, there's a really pretty side yard here, and this is the entrance to your Airbnb. It is a little casita that is on the premises with the main house off to the side. We're gonna go ahead and enter in and take a look around. You're gonna be amazed by the stylings that these folks have done in this house. It is a single room with a kitchen, bathroom, and bedroom slash work living area. But as you're walking, notice all of the special features, beautiful landscaping, these terrific pavers that make your way in with the large river rocks. It's just gorgeous. You are in San Diego, which is a super destination site to be in. You'll have a private key to your door. There's a lockbox at the entrance. When you enter into the house, immediately on your right is a gorgeous bathroom, really beautiful fixtures in here. One of the first things that struck us is you know you're gonna love the house when they have used some of the same materials that you would use. So this is the same rock tile that we had in our bathroom and the same wall tile that we have in our bathroom at home. So we knew we were gonna love it from the very beginning. So all of the space here is just really well managed. There is a small shelf here for you to put your toiletries and that sort of thing. And there are strategically placed hooks throughout the house so that you can manage towels and that sort of thing. They have been so thoughtful in the details that they've added to this house. As you look at the sink, there is a drawer, gives you hair dryer, extra toilet paper, washcloths and towels and even includes a makeup towel. The soaps are out of this world. You will love them. This one was a wild lavender. Again, behind the door of the bathroom are towel hooks. These were beach towels they left for us. They are really, really thick and cushy and soak up all the water you can put on them. And the beach towels are for one of the treats you're gonna find outside. We'll get to that in a minute. Again, just notice all of the details they've got around the house. You'll see succulents in small planters throughout the cabana and the planters all match and the succulents all go together. Just beautifully well done and lots of fun architectural details like the black moldings around all of the windows, the black doors and that sort of thing. The main room is characterized by a single large king size bed with absolutely phenomenal linens. You are going to love the linens in this bed. There is an air conditioner here. We did not have much need for it, but it's great to know that it's here in case you do need it. Side tables that are built into the headboard and have plenty of space for whatever you need. Simple, elegant, and gorgeous. 
There is a workstation that we used quite a bit while we were here with a smart TV. You can get anything you need from the TV. We watched YouTube and all kinds of other things. The closets are well outfitted with mirrored doors and on the inside of them, they have left you a lovely array of things that you might need while you're here. So extra comforter and a steamer. The other two closets are open and you can use them as you need. There were two luggage racks that we were able to use. That was wonderful. And again, the same thing on this side of the bed with the side tables always helpful. While you're here, please don't forget to sign the guest book that the owners have left out here. Your hosts are really terrific and it's fun to read the other comments of other people. Universally, everybody loves one of these things on their list more than everything else. I really want to point out the welcome page that they've left us. They really do a great job of letting you know exactly what you need to know so that you are self-sufficient while you are here. They even give some recommendations for restaurants. We found the recommendations to be fabulous. In particular, we ate at Ponce's Mexican food and we loved it. There is a small table here for two people that fits well. We used the desk chair for the other chair and we're able to have meals here. But you'll see there's another place you're probably gonna wanna eat even more. This is fabulous. The kitchen is so well outfitted, so streamlined and so beautiful. The cabinetry is all slow closed features. The drawers have everything in them that you might want. People will also note knives are sharp and in case they're not there is a knife sharpener in the drawer as well as other utensils. There is a grill outside that you can use and all of the appliances you might need. The shelves have some basic supplies in them all neatly organized as well as some small appliances you might use. There are trash bags above the refrigerator. The refrigerator will come stocked with some extra goodies. Microwave, stove, and oven, so it really is a full kitchen. And then the dishware is really nice. Everything you could need and use. There is a full-size dishwasher built in, and so no problem getting dishes done and They've done a beautiful job of helping you separate recycling and trash and left you all of the things you need so that you can keep the place clean yourself. Although we aren't coffee drinkers, the coffee maker with the attached pods is a really nice touch and people love that. Beautiful view out the kitchen window. And again, those really great details with the small succulents in pretty planters. So getting to the good part. As most people have noticed, the thing you're coming to this Airbnb for, as much as the beautifully decorated space, it is this view. You are perched at the top of a canyon overlooking the freeway system, actually, but you're looking down into Mission Valley. You will see a ton of birds. We had hawks, we had bunches of hummingbirds, amazing sunrises and sunsets and you are literally just right on the edge of this it's very private the host's home is right there but they put in some privacy plantings and the umbrella there is a seating area for dinner as well as a terrific seating area for just sitting out drinking a glass of wine and watching that amazing sunrise well maybe you're not drinking wine when you're watching the sunrise that might be a mimosa, but sunsets, grab the wine. And over to the side, this is the other thing, and this is what you need those fabulous cushy towels for. The pavers with the river walk, such a nice touch. It makes it so comfortable and easy to navigate. This is a beautiful four person hot tub, and I just want to show you the view from the hot tub. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you're looking out at as you watch the lights of the city come up and the sun go down. It's just spectacular. The whole deck is probably almost as big as the whole cabana. This is where you'll spend the majority of your time. This is where we spend our time just sitting out here. There are screen doors that lead you back into the cabana. 
So if you want to keep doors open, you can very easily just shut the screen door. Both sides open, so you have tons of open space. In order to open that second door, there is a little latch at the top that you undo, and there you are. Your bed looks directly out at this view. This Airbnb can't be beat. You've got privacy, you've got beauty, you've got luxury, you've got everything you could need. It is about a mile and a half to get into Normal Heights and the town. There are lots of rideshare opportunities or food delivery services or grocery delivery services if you need that. But the town itself is really darling. It feels like a real neighborhood. It doesn't feel like a touristy area. I think one of the things we enjoyed the most about this was that we were able to access University Heights, Normal Heights, Kensington, and North Park really easily. And all of those are just really authentic, cool San Diego neighborhoods. They're not beachside, they're actually in the hills above. So you get access down to Balboa Park and down to the Gasland District and Little Italy. But these are just a little less touristy areas and you're gonna see lots more locals, people walking dogs and enjoying their time. Not folks on cruise ships or getting off the airplane and uh, staying in big hotels. This really is local living in San Diego. This is Swami's North Park on 30th Street in San Diego, California. Definitely visit a Padre game at Peco Park in downtown or Balboa Park. All right, and from your menu, what should we eat? Chilaquiles, number one dish, and then chorizo hash will be the second one. Okay. All right. Thank Thanks you. so much. Uh -huh. is so much more than the beaches. While you're there, go be a local, and this is the place to stay. When you're in town for business or pleasure, you'll be in the midst of natural beauty and still have access to all of the comforts and enjoyment of the city close by. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure and catch our other Airbnb home on the Harmony in Zwolle, Netherlands.